Welcome this morning to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke 16, verses 8 and 9 today. And this is the, the unjust steward. He's defrauded his master. He's, he's done, he's misused his funds. He's, he's messed up everything. The accountant is full of lies and error here. Now he comes and he, he brings to the master uh, his, 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 the books, and it all seems to come out. Now let's see what the response is. This is a careful one. So the master commended the unjust steward because he had dealt shrewdly. For the sons of this world are more shrewd in their generation than the sons of light. And I say to you, make friends for yourselves by unrighteous mammon, that when you fail, they may receive you into an everlasting home. Now we're going to give more response of his response tomorrow, but this is uh, what we have. The, the master looks at this and he says, hey, everything's in order. Now, do you think that's going to last? Do you think that's going to carry on? How long do you think this, this fraud is going to continue? Well, it's not going to necessarily continue, but in the moment, in the moment, temporarily, it looks pretty good. It looks like everything's in order. So this guy is going to continue. He says, the sons of this world are more shrewd in their generation than the sons of light. Make friends of the unrighteous mammon. So, you know, make plans. In other words, God is not telling us to cheat people. He's not at all telling us that. He's telling us in this parable, these people are looking ahead. These people are planning out. They're planning what they can do. God is telling us of the necessity of preparation. This is kind of a weird parable the way it is because we're not certainly not being told to be lying, cheating kinds of people, but we're being told to make provision for your situation. Have you made serious provision for your situation? We don't know what's coming on this world. I mean, we do, but we don't know it immediately what's coming, what is particularly coming to your town next week, tomorrow. Be careful. Have your stuff in order and make provision for yourself. Don't, don't lie, cheat, and steal, but make provision for yourself. And here we see that a lot of times the, the inferred lesson is what? Many times we just are not making any reference. We're not, we're not trying to be careful, you know? And that's a problem. We should be always be prepared. And that's one of the things that God wants us to have. A lot of times the Christians are not prepared. And then something crazy happens. And what do they do? Just kind of expect that God was just going to uh, just suddenly descend and, and, and give them something that they themselves should have been ready for? Uh, we're in a time when uh, there's a lot of secularism coming down on the church or a lot of worldliness coming into the church. Are we, do we just expect that, oh, don't worry about it. It's going to be no problem. God's just going to make it all work. God has things that we need to be doing, and we need to be active. We need to be actually working on stuff. So let's be careful out there. Let's make provision for our situation because things are not going to be easy anymore. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, lessons today from this criminal and kind of a weird parable by Jesus, but you were telling us, to put things in order, have our house in order, be right, be right, and then we never have to go in and, and make some extensive plan and, and, and do anything like we've read in this parable. By may we be diligent in being your servants. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friend, be careful that you draw the correct lesson from the unjust steward. Tomorrow morning, Jesus has a little bit more to say. We'll look at that.